We've got lighting. We've got hair. Okay, we're ready to do this now. Welcome to my channel. My name is Allison and today I'm sharing with you what we spend in a week So I am married recently married kind of actually very recently like past like four months now We are currently living together in an apartment. We are in the military too. He is in the Marine Corps We are stationed at Marine Corps Base Quantico and I'm gonna be sharing what we spend in a week So this week was a little bit different than our normal typical week like it wasn't just like a boring week where nothing happened we took a road trip to charlotte north carolina to visit his family we had a couple like random expenses come up a bunch of his brothers are getting married so i had to buy bridesmaids dresses my spending changes week to week it's not exactly the same the only thing that does stay the same are like what our bills are and like our fixed expenses so i'll share that at the end of the video i'll get into like what we actually spend on like our rent and our electricity and our phone bill and like things that we just pay every single month no matter what but before we do all of that let's go through everything that i spent during the week also i got this guy chilling right here i try to conceal him he is not being concealed we're just gonna go with it. Where is my phone? Like everything else in my life, all my information for this video is on my phone. So if I'm looking down, it's to be reading the totals that I have in my little notes app. Okay, starting off on Monday, I went to Goodwill, not to go shopping. Well, I did go shopping, but I went to Goodwill to like drop off some donations. And then I went into the Goodwill and didn't buy anything. So we're at zero dollars, going strong early in the morning. And then it quickly, quickly declined because I was going to Trader Joe's. I actually did a haul on everything I bought at Trader Joe's and I'll link that up here for you guys to watch. But the thing with Trader Joe's is that it's kind of far away from where I am right now. Like it's like 40-ish minutes away. It's like basically almost in DC. So when I go to Trader Joe's, I wanna buy like everything that I need for the next like month or two months. Cause like it's a hassle to get there. So I spent $212.29 on groceries. That's a lot. I will say my husband and I try to budget to have around 350 a month spent on groceries for the two of us. So we definitely pour more into the grocery budget, but this definitely pushed our budget for groceries. After this, I went to the local grocery store, which for us is called a Weiss. I've never heard of a Weiss before until we moved to this place in Virginia a couple months ago. I am a Publix girl. I miss my Publix. If you have one near you, you understand, but there's no Publixes here. There's Shoppers, Giant, Aldi, Walmart, like the basic chains, and then there's a store called Weiss. I went here after Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's doesn't always have everything I need. And at Weiss, I spent $47.63. And then the first unexpected budgeting item came up on that Monday and that was David's bridal. Christian's one of four boys so he has three other brothers. Two of them are currently engaged and both of their weddings are within three months in 2020. I've already previously bought one bridesmaid dress and that was from Birdie Gray. From the other bride, her wedding's in August. The dress color that she wants is from David's bridal and they're gonna be back ordered, not coming in until June. And that she wanted to just like give us a heads up. My David's bridal total is $126.56 because I bought two dresses. I bought the same dress in two different sizes because I don't know which size I am. That was that, so Monday spent a lot of money. So the total amount spent on Monday was $386.48. Tuesday I thought was a lot better day because I thought it was going to be a no spend day. Actually, I thought it was a no spend day until like five minutes before I filmed this. So I have my little thing like no spend exclamation point, exclamation point, no, no spending on my part. But I checked our bank and my dental insurance got pulled out of our bank account on Tuesday. So we paid $12.23 for my dental insurance. Under the military, Christian's dental insurance is covered and then mine is extra, even though we're married. So that's just like how it is. For us, it's $12.23 per month for me to have dental insurance. So the total spent on Tuesday is $12.23. Wednesday was actually a no spend day, so go us. Thursday, we're getting closer to the weekend and it was also the week of Valentine's Day. So I had bought Christian a couple Valentine's Day gifts, small things, and they were already like purchased way before this week. So I didn't have to buy anything, but Christian was buying gifts this week. Then I saw on the credit card statement a little bit later that he had spent $17.44 at Walmart. That was to get me roses and chocolate. And then he bought me some turkey sausage and cinnamon rolls and my favorites for breakfast. Friday was Valentine's Day. We spent a lot of money the previous week on restaurants. So for Valentine's Day, I asked if we could just keep it low key. I would make him whatever he wanted at home. Like we'd have a nice meal at home. I had bought from Target like a month earlier, like a little fondue kit. Like I'll insert a picture here, but like the fondue dessert looked like. Like we definitely made the most of our Valentine's dinner here at home together. And that was our first like official Valentine's Day together because we were long distance before this. So like I just thought it'd be nice for the day together and like not do anything super, super crazy or overpriced. But I did forget to buy the steak that he had requested earlier in the week when I went grocery shopping. So $23.65 spent at the Weiss for like other things. Cause you know, you go in the grocery store for one thing and you come out with like six other things that you forgot that you quote unquote needed. I also see a charge from Walmart for $6.63. I don't know why. We don't shop at Walmart that often. So I don't know why Walmart's like on this list like six different times, but that was on there. Couldn't tell you what that was. Our total for Friday was $30.28. 
Saturday, we were driving to Charlotte, North Carolina. It was his dad's birthday. So we were road tripping like six hours to Charlotte and we spent $24.07 at a gas station. And then I am very ashamed to say this, we spent $8.94 at McDonald's. We were in a rush to get there and we were hungry and I'm not proud of it. And I don't wanna talk about that we ate at McDonald's cause I'm not a McDonald's gal. But that's all we spent on Saturday. Our total for Saturday was $33.01. And then Sunday was also pretty low key. We spent $6.02 at a food line in North Carolina, which is just another grocery store up there because we were having a bonfire. So we had to buy chocolate, graham crackers and marshmallows. So $6 for all of that well worth it. And then we Venmoed Christian's brother $62 for part of his dad's birthday gift. We got him an office chair and set that up for him, but it was a nice office chair. Our total for Sunday was $68.02. That's the end of the week, I guess. Sunday. Yeah, Monday through Sunday. Okay, let's total this bad boy up. Got my handy calculator. Okay, dun dun dun. Our total for expenses of the week was $547.46 which honestly, not that bad. I'm not ashamed of that number at all. For a lot of groceries, buying a lot of gifts, for traveling, you know what? That's a good number. I'm gonna be fine with that number. Now, one thing that I notice a lot of people do in these videos, they'll do the calculations for like one week of rent or like they won't talk about their rent at all. What I decided to do was to tab up all of our fixed expenses. So things that like we benefit from throughout the month. I totaled all of them together and then divided them by the number of days in the month and then multiplied it by seven for a week. So our rent, tithing to our church, our car insurance, our water bill, electricity, internet, and our cell phone bill. All of those things put together, on average, we spend $550 about out on that kind of stuff every single week. So that's kind of like our fixed expenses. Add that to the total. We're looking at, did I clear this? I probably did. I did. What did I say before? 546. I'll run that to 550. We spent $1,100 a week on living. That's not that bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope I didn't get too rambly or tell too many boring stories. Let me know down below if you guys would like to see what we spent in a month. Obviously I went into like a breakdown of like every single expense for the month, but I could show you how much we actually spent on groceries, how much we spent on gas and like shopping and gifts and like all the little things that add up in total. So if you guys enjoyed watching, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. I link a couple down in the description bar in every single video for what you might be interested in based on the video you're watching right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.